Hey there YouTube and welcome to Altcoin Picks. Today we're going to be talking about Binance, what happened to them, and some quick positive cryptocurrency news. Also, I want to announce that this upcoming Monday on February 11th, we'll be doing my very first live stream at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. It will mostly be centered around ICOs, the upcoming ones, which ones we're excited about. We'll look at my new ICO score sheet and I will take suggestions, listen to you guys. We can take questions, get an idea of what we think is the best approach to do with this ICO sheet and just have fun. I hope I see all of you there. Also, before we begin, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, smash that subscribe button right here. So I want to address two things. First, I have a new banner, as you can see up there. I hope you like it. Thank you, Tiffany. And then we have a new logo, as you can see. I hope you guys like it. Give me some feedback on it. I really like the colors. I think they're awesome. Looks way more professional than it did before. Next, I want to address this haircut. So I went to the barber on Tuesday. My normal barber wasn't there. I had to get my haircut, so I stayed. This It looked like a new person, sat down, got that panicky feeling like, oh God, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. He was cutting my hair. It was super different than I've ever had it before. He's kind of concentrating just, I don't know. I was stressing out, so worried. He finished and... <laughs> Let's just say I was extremely disappointed and yeah, it, it was awful. I, I know some of you probably had that same experience. It was awful. Just make sure you pick the barber you're used to. I know next time, not even to consider it unless she's there. Granted, he left it kind of long, which is good. I can go in and hopefully get it touched up and fixed. Anyways, <laughs> enough ranting about that. I want to talk to you guys first about Dragon Chain. So they're introducing a new ICO biotech they will be launching soon and using the dragon chain platform i'm telling you everyone dragon chain is going to be huge they're just getting started i'm super excited about this one next we have binance so it seems like the big thing is did binance get hacked what's going on with binance why can't i get on everybody seemed to have been panicking binance was pretty much like hey we're doing maintenance we're upgrading our systems don't worry well it turns out that they actually got ddos attacked and I don't want people to be flooding here. So what is a DDoS attack? It's a distributed denial of service or DDoS attack. It's an attempt to make an online service unavailable by overwhelming it with traffic from multiple sources. This isn't hacking at all. So Binance did not get hacked. Hacking implies breaching of security or compromising information. Like I said, DDoS attack is just a trick people use to overwhelm and confuse the servers to a point where they can't handle the amount of traffic being pushed their way so the servers collapse on themselves and shut down. A good example on Reddit, they actually summed a DDoS attack perfectly. So basically, you hit the refresh page on Binance. Now do it repeatedly. You're essentially doing a DOS attack. Now tell your 10 friends to hit the refresh button at the same time repeatedly. Now you're essentially doing a DDoS attack Granted, not a very successful one. Now, organize 1 million people to do the same thing. That might actually have an impact on the server. So I want to make this clear so we don't get all FUD and people start getting crazy on Binance. They did not get hacked. Just a DDoS attack. They're already up and running. You got to use us.binance.com. Make sure the site's right. Bookmark this for now. We'll see what happens with the other site. Again, no FUD here. DDoS attack. No hack. Next, I want to talk about Arizona. So the Arizona Senate has passed a bill that aims to allow residents in the state to pay taxes with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency. The bill, if passed, would enable taxpayers to use Bitcoin or other cryptos in order to pay tax and any interest and penalties to the state's Department of Revenue. The department, in turn, would have 24 hours to convert those payments to U.S. dollars. The Senate passed the bill on February 8th by a margin of 16-13 with one no vote, meaning it has to be sent to the House of Representatives for further consideration. So Arizona State Rep Jeff Winninger, who is one of the co-sponsors of the bill, told Fox News that the tax measures aimed at making the state an accommodating place for users of the technology. So it's pretty awesome to see that members of Congress are interested and supportive of blockchain. Super positive there, and I expect hopefully more and more members of Congress to join join the team. <laughs> 
Next, we have NVIDIA. We have Jen Sung Hong, which is the CEO. He stated that crypto is a real thing and it's not going to go away. He also said there is a clearly real utility with blockchain, adding that he sees cryptos as being as real as any other virtual good or video game. So he goes on to expand this idea saying, and as you know, tens of millions of virtual goods are created and shared and sold in virtual reality and people invest thousands of hours to create spaceships in space that they can battle against each other. So the concept of virtual goods and virtual worlds and virtual currencies all tied together. So it's pretty much just more and more confirmation that blockchain, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is real. That's not a scam. It's here to stay. And it's just the beginning. I'm super excited. We're in this guys and, and girls super early. Hopefully we work together and we do well here. So I want to thank everyone for watching my video. Don't forget to tune in to my very first live stream on Monday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm excited to see everyone there. A little bit nervous. Hopefully it goes well. <laughs> Don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time.